everyone. Welcome to Excel Maven. This is the expert series, session number four. Today we're going to talk about how to combine index and match functions to behave almost like a lookup, but without some of the restraints that you typically see with VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP functions. So before we dive in, uh, let's look at each of the individual components, starting with the index function. So index, super simple Excel function that basically just returns the value of a specific cell somewhere within an array. So this is the syntax here. Um, you start by determining what your array is, or what's the range of cells that you're looking in, and then you tell Excel how many rows down to go and how many columns over to go, and it will return the value of whatever cell you land on. So in this case, if we're indexing the array from A1 through C5, uh, and move down to the fifth row and over to the third column, it would return 234 because that's the value of the cell that it ended up on. So again, very straightforward. The match function uh, behaves a little bit differently. So match returns the position of a specific value within a given column or row. So syntax of the match function looks like this, where you actually start with determining what the lookup value is. So what exactly are you looking for? It could be a text string, could be a number, um, and then the next piece is what's the lookup array, so where are you trying to find your lookup value. Last but not least, match type uh, is either a 1, 0, or a negative 1. 99% of the time you're going to use a 0 here, uh, which means that you're searching for the exact lookup value that you've typed in, um, as opposed to variations or similar numbers. Um, one thing to keep in mind is that your lookup array must be one dimensional, so either one column wide or one row tall. The reason this is the case is because match function returns a single number to describe the position of where your lookup value is found. So if you're working with a two dimensional array, there's really no way to describe the position of a cell uh, with one number. So here are two examples. We can say, let's match the word pliers in column A from A1 through A5. And if we do that, it will return the number 4 because it's finding the word pliers in the fourth row down. Uh, similarly, we can search for the number 5 in row 7 from A7 through C7. We'll return the number 3 because it found the number 5 in the third column over. Um, so you may be wondering what the point of these functions are. They're kind of really simplistic and there are other ways to go about doing this. And the key is that uh, they really prove value once you add them together or nest them within larger or more complex formulas. So let's go through an example of how to use the two together. So here in this Excel doc I have a basic um, price checker. It's an array of uh, product prices. Um, I have five different products and I have five different sizes. All I want to do here is create this price checker that will pull in uh, the correct price given a specific product and a specific size. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do, rather than typing in uh, the product and size by hand, I'm going to use a little trick called data validation. I'm going to go to the data tab, data validation, and I'm going to allow a list, and the source of my list is going to be the list of products. What this will do is create a drop down uh, with all of the product options. So I don't have to type it in, and I can quickly uh, switch between values. Do the same thing for sizes here data validation, list, and my source is going to be the list of sizes, in this case B2 through F2. Okay, so now once that's set up, now it's a matter of filling in the index and match formula here to pull in the correct price. So I'm going to start with index and where am I looking for my value? Looking for it in the range from B3 through F7, that's my array. And now for the row number, because the row down that I want to move to depends on the product that I've selected, I'm going to use a match function here. So I'm going to match the product that I've selected and I'm going to look for it in the list of products here. I'm going to put the exact match option there. And then comma moves me to the next piece of the index function, which is how many columns over do I want to move. Now, 
that's a function of whatever size I've selected. So I'm going to do another match function. I'm going to look up the size. I'm going to look for that in the list of sizes here from B2 through F2. Again, it's a one-dimensional array. Do exact match and then close it off with two parentheses and that should do it. So 1550 is the price of a small t-shirt. That's correct. Now you can kind of switch these around and make sure that it's working. Small shorts are 12, 1250. Uh, large shorts, 1350. Everything looks good. So um, hopefully you're able to follow along. Please stay tuned for session five coming up next, which is how to use uh, match combined with a VLOOKUP uh, to basically supercharge your lookup formulas. In the meantime, check out excelmaven.com and learn about some of our hands-on personalized training courses. Thanks a lot. Talk to you soon.